here it is the block diagram how this project is working you can see here it is a uh, web server and it capable to run the PHP scripts and this PHP scripts fast the data from the database through SQL query as I told you I'm able to connect the multiple switchboard from this project and each switchboard will be getting the data from this database through this route you can see this all switchboard call a PHP script and that PHP script fast the data from the database through the SQL query and it is being sent through this internet to the ADSL modem router to the ESP8266 and this ESP8266 controls the relay and also it controls the fan speed so we are be able to connect multiple boards over there each board will be having the separate record in the database and these all boards will be getting the data from the database through the SQL server and as, as per the data the relay gets on and off and the fan will also know what is the sp speed you know so this is only a one way only these ESP8266 are getting the data from one way it is not updating the database and here you can see on another end uh, Android mobile is there I have made an Android application using App Inventor this application is capable to change the database when we press any switch it runs a PHP script and that PHP script send a query to change the database when I press any switch corresponding data in the database gets changed these boards fetch that data only and this relay operates and fan level changes so these boards are continuously getting the data from the database to maintain the status of the relay board and also fan level this added application is changing the data in the database as per desire when we press any switch it changes the database and this information this change information is sent to the corresponding board and that relay that operates so in this way this whole project is working here it is the project and uh, I'd like to explain a bit about this project this project is having two parts one is the part which is a switchboard part and with which is a outlet on a wall for the switches different switches and uh, this Wi-Fi module is uh, accessing the data from a database through the internet and this ESP8266 based ESP12E board get connected wirelessly over Wi-Fi to uh, my Wi-Fi modem and then it access the database and get the status of uh, these all uh, relay from the database and as per the status it makes it on and off like this time you can see one relay is on and uh, I'll show the application now here it is my Android application which I have developed using App Inventor and you can see uh, I have written the different name of the room and assume that uh, I want to control the drawing room switches so I'll go in this 
and you can see here it is the different switches of my drawing room and uh, you can see switch one is on so this relay one is on and we are be able to switch off you can see here it is switch off so we can make on and off through this application this application also get connected from the database and uh, it changed the status of the data that the switch is on and off and that information this switchboard outlet received from the database so this android application is changing the data and this another switchboard outlet receives the data from the database and changes accordingly here it is you can see i have made a fan speed controller also uh, this time in this uh, demonstration i'm not showing it but in future i'll make another video and another board to explain and display this functions also so here it is my project thanks for watching